Welcome back. Nocturnal Duck here with another deck challenge just for you. This one's for Karius and it is our Nexus Storm. Let's check it out. All right, so here we are. This is our deck challenge. This is for you, Karius. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Forgive me if I'm not. But this one is our Nexus Storm or Aura Storm, and it's based entirely around our Storm Herald. So Storm Herald comes down, returns all the auras from the graveyard, attach them to creatures that we control, and then, you know, exile them all at the end of that turn, which is okay. That's fine by us because we are going to get such grand value out of that one creature drop that it doesn't matter that they all die off so what we're doing is you know trying to get our constellation trigger as much as possible and the way that he reads is any number of aura cards so we're going to use binding of the titans to mill ourselves a little bit get things into the graveyard ready for the storm trigger and then this can also bring back a storm if we need late game or we end up milling one into the graveyard with it and then we are hopefully bringing back six or seven auras all at once, triggering Constellation. So our Constellation is Nexus Wardens. If we get six auras come back, we're gaining 12 life. We're getting six 1-1 one -one counters on him with six card draws. And because they're all going to target our creatures, this is going to get another six card draws as well. So you can see how much card advantage this is going to produce and our Iron Crag Pyromancer is going to love it. So this is going to be two or three copies down and you bring back all of those auras, you're doing nine damage across the board. You can just, you know, completely demolish their side and then you're swinging in with these crazy attack. So our auras, the auras that we want to bring back, I wanted to have ETBs as well. So we're getting even more value. Our idea is citizen training, drawing us a card, giving a creature plus one and trample helps if we've got a big beefcake but you know two or three of them coming back two or three card draws we're triggering a lot of the constellation and damage across the board the next one is our war bearers blessing this one is another removal piece so it enters we can have a big chunky creature fight another creature and just remove it and that's a nice little piece as well the Aurora's Blessing, this one's going to do four damage to creature or planeswalker, so you can imagine two or three of these coming back and it's going to do a volume of damage and even extend the damage with the Pyromancer. And Wolfkin Bond, this coming back leaves a body behind and buffs our dude by two. So this is a, an amazing, you know, loop. If we get two of these, two of these, you know, one of these all come back in one turn, we're going to see a volume of cards do heaps of damage and fill our board. So that's insane considering we can attack in straight away with our Storm Herald as well. So even if the board is completely clear, we can drop him and bring all of our auras back, targeting just him, triggering all of these things and swinging in. So yeah, it's just a busted mechanic. The Storm Herald really drives this deck and, you know, the constellation style of this is just insane. So that's the deck. I hope you enjoy the brew. Don't forget to like, subscribe, follow. Hit me up in the comments below if there's something else that I should add to the deck or if there's a deck you want to see or a card that's very challenging or you're struggling with, throw it at me. I'm down for the challenge. I'm keen and I'm loving hearing back from you guys. So thank you so much for all of the support. Thank you for this challenge, Karius. <laughs> Again, sorry if I'm not pronouncing it right. But that's enough chin flapping from me. Let's get into some games. All right, we'll keep that. I've got a scry. Scry into a season. Okay, so we do want that land at this stage. So we don't have to pain in a land to do season. That's good. Ooh, adventure. I haven't seen adventure for a while. Okay, so season of growth. We'll take the one. We can go all the way down to like two or three damage uh, health and climb all the way back up with a couple of nexus. Oh, three damage. Three damage. A. A. 
All right, so what have we got? This fellow. Yeah, we'll keep that. Even though we've got one, it's good to have a couple. We're going to draw a bunch of cards, hopefully, if he sticks around. Okay, looks like he's gonna. Well, that's good news for us, isn't it? Very good news for us, indeed. So, I'm going to paint this in. Because we're going to do two of these. Giving our dude a bit of a buff and a card draw. Gain two life. Okay. Um, so... And we'll gain another two life, back to 19. And we'll kill off his edge wall innkeeper. And then end turn. So we got a 2-6 flyer now, that's incredible. Ah, oh, 2-6 reach, sorry. Hmm, that's better. All right. So what has he got here? Any answer? Green, red matchup, eh? Yeah, that kind of sucks. He can't block. So we can get this damage in. Yeah, I will keep that land. So from here, I think we go Citizen Champion. Yes, we will keep that. Drawing it, hopefully, no. We'll just end there. So next turn's good, we can double set as in champion. Okay, so this isn't the best, but we're gonna take six, that's fine. That is fine. He's not attacking? That is strange. Weddy, weddy, strange. So we're gonna go in with the second citizen champion, get a scryzel. Um, yeah, I guess, I guess. So now we will go three. We gain another two life, draw three cards, four cards, and buff our dude. One card. Two cards, three cards, four cards. Whoa. No attacks. So, are you going to swing in with your big dude? Because I'm going to take it. Yeah, that sucks. I feel like he's going to scoop when he sees this go down. Um, I think that's probably good. Now, I think while we're chilling, we do this. And we pass turn. No attacks. So what, he's top decking real hard here, so he's got a Drucker Seth, he's gonna give haste. Give it haste with this thing, man, what are you doing? Oh my god. My god. Well, he's not going to like what I'm about to do. Um, so, 7 damage. 
I'm going to throw this onto here. Mainly because we're going to do six damage to Dracoseth. There's the six. Volume of cards here. We'll go down with the other land. So three and two. Yeah, three. Done. And we'll do it onto you. Look at this. He's going to scoop here. <laughs> mulligan again. But we won off the last mulligan. That's a bit better. We'll keep that. And I think we put back the Wolfkin Bond. Because turn five. Start with a scry. So Ashiok Mill deck is not going to be fun for us. Sure. What have we got in there? So if he puts another one down... Oh, well, no. So in comes the... Ashiok next turn. I think we go for a red. Okay, so that was tapped, that's lucky. I'm sure that was going to be an Ashiok. Alright, so no real good targets. Oh yeah, actually, lots of good targets for Storm Herald. Hmm. So I'm going to do this before he brings Ashiok down. Four damage to that. We'll make that. Swing with an eight. Didn't expect that now, did you buddy? So we got value out of all of them before he could Ashiok them. So now he really wants to Ashiok. There it is. I knew it was coming. It's a shame because there's some good orders in there. Okay. Good news is we're going to just kill Ashiok now. And we'll kill Ashiok there, and we'll swing in. Yes, this feels good against Ashiok deck. <laughs> as much as he is doing a good job, we just need one more Storm Herald. No, and we and we whiff. So we'll do it again. Swing in. How does it feel, buddy? Does it feel good? <laughs> uh, I just love beating a blue black deck. Yeah. Yeah. There's the other Storm Herald. Okay, okay. Um. Yes, I know it's a good game.
Nice. All right, we'll keep that. We'll see. See how we go. That's a that's a pain land. So we'll go in with this first. Mm, doesn't really matter. Possibly a, a green, so we can start casting two of these in a turn soon. That'd be good. We've got our nexus, which is good. Oh, interesting. Okay, so I'm going to paint this in for the binding, so hopefully we can set up for a good storm. No, we didn't. We just put another storm in the graveyard. <laughs> Not a single aura. Okay, so he's... Interesting. Running something similar. I'll just get rid of that, doesn't really matter. No, no life for us. Thank God we got our third land though. So I think from here, drop him down so we can start digging in. Hopefully find another a binding because then we can fuel our Storm Herald way better. I was hoping that would have pinged us there. I feel like we're almost going to have to get a land back. Nice. So he still won't attack though. Unless he's worried about my citizen champion. Offering me a trade. Hmm, that was an interesting turn. Yeah, so we missed our land. We'll definitely go for another one. Alright, so... I'll go for a red. And... Yeah, I think we, we just need to start digging in. I don't necessarily want to leave that guy unanswered. Okay, so another Storm Herald. That's pretty good. So he could have a... Um, I feel like he's going to have a binding or some sort of exile conclave. So I wanted to get value out of that citizen champion. Oh, interesting. So he's gonna do his five damage. The difference is we can start getting some life back next turn. So essentially we'll still be at 15. Okay, he didn't attack. That's a interesting, interesting manoeuvre. So what we're gonna do is go for the removal instead. So we're gonna start stretching our auras out a bit here. So can you see what's gonna happen here? We're gonna draw a card do the 3 damage to his Siona. So if he uses his Druid for mana, we're potentially able to just zap it. So this is an interesting matchup here. Because he's an enchantment deck as well, but the red is the difference and the storm. I really want that storm to happen. Okay, so does he have any? He does. Indestructible, that was nice. But we still got our damage through, which was good. So, compliment him on that, that's a good maneuver. So, next turn, we can storm. So, we can actually... Oh, we need... Uh, I should have put that in last turn. Okay, so six damage. He's worried about me being able to do the... Yes! Look at this! Okay, so... I think we go Citizen's Champion. 
and then Storm Herald. This is going to be an amazing little combo. We don't have heaps in the graveyard, but at least we get to see it happen. And he gets to see it happen. So we'll bring back both of these. We'll attach it to him. And him. So he gets buffed by two. We draw a butt ton of cards. Might as well just do the three damage through the to the face. All of our creatures have trample now. And we won't attack with you. So he can't really block that. If he wants to keep his value train going. So he's deciding to. Maybe he's got another one of these, he's going to use the mana. Yes, he does. So there goes our... Um, Alright, so we're going to discard two. Get rid of both of these. Next turn we're going a Nexus and a Storm. And we're gaining a lot of life back there. So nice. He's sticking around. He's sticking around. Is he going to do damage to one of our dudes? It doesn't really matter because we're going to get super value next turn. Yep, so he's running a very similar deck, but white instead of red. Nice. Is that the game? Mm. Wow. So we're doing creature, it's just going to him. Let me bring this back. Can't target face. I wish that targeted face. It would win us the game. So what's he doing here? I think he's building up to a big attack next turn. Okay, on to Nexus. Oh, sorry, Storm. Nexus onto the Storm. There's our Nexus Storm. That's pretty good. Um, so... And I guess him now we gain a bunch of life and then three damage with that and then attack in so he's going to block the storm again but we're getting the value out of him that's the main thing it's the last one of our storms in the deck, unless we find a binding, but yeah. <laughs> so I'm stoked we got to see the storm actually happen there. I think I'm going to leave it there, it's just, you can see it doing its magic already. I hope you're enjoying the deck, and Karius, thank you for the challenge. I am keen for some more, so let me know in the comments below if there's any cards you want to see me struggle to build around, or a deck that you're struggling to build. Throw it at me, let's see if I can do something, and challenge me. I'm really, really keen. So don't forget, like, subscribe, follow, hit me up, follow me on Twitter. I'm very open for PMs and all that sort of stuff, so let's, let's make some magic. Until next time, Nocturnal Dark out.